Hi, I'm Mike Halsey, the author of Troubleshooting Windows 7 Inside Out from Microsoft Press. In this video I'm going to be looking at the Event Viewer, which I talk about in depth in Chapter 25. The Event Viewer is one of the most useful features in Windows 7. Whatever happens, be it a software glitch, a hardware failure, a Windows error or a critical stop, the Event Viewer will have a record of it, and you can use this information to diagnose problems that have occurred and help to fix them. There are several ways to access the Event Viewer, but by far the easiest is just to type the word Event into the search box in the Start menu, and it will appear in the search results. Now let's have a look at what it is and the different types of event that it displays. The main event viewer is split into three panels and we'll have a good look at two of them. In this left hand panel we have custom views that we can define, we have windows logs and we have hardware and software logs. The main section here gives us an overview and a summary of the events that have taken place in windows and let's have a look at some of these events in a bit more detail. Critical events are the most important. These are the events that happen when Windows itself fails and stops working. Errors occur when software or hardware on your computer stops working but doesn't cause Windows 7 itself to fail. And warnings occur when software or hardware cause a problem but they don't fail themselves. You can double click on any event to get more information about it. This will include a general description and may even include a Windows error code that you can find more information about. There will be additional information down the bottom including the name of the user that was logged in at the time. And finally there's another details panel with yet more in-depth information about that particular event. You can save event logs which can be sent to support personnel and you can even trigger actions to occur on an event or an error such as a warning to alert the user that a particular problem has occurred. Events and errors are arranged by date and time making it very easy to search for and find the information that you need. I talk about the event viewer in depth in chapter 25 of the book. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.